Shelby's Clubhouse educates and informs children between the ages of 6 through 12 about how to deal successfully with everyday situations and challenges using principles of the Bible. Everybody, I'm Paulina. I just got a letter from Sarah, who's 11 years old, and she lives in Montana. Anyway, Sarah writes that she's really upset because some girls at school make fun of her. That happened to me before. It's no fun. Sarah, we're going to pray for you and your friends. Stay tuned to this week's show, because that's exactly what happened to Danielle. That was a great crowd today, you guys. I'm glad that God made it a nice hot day, because everyone's thirsty. You guys, thanks so much for helping out like this. We really appreciate no it. No problem. It's a lot of fun. Ryan, we need to get more change. I know. It's so awesome. I can't awesome even sale. believe it. Hi, Danielle. Oh, hi. I like your outfit, Lacey. Is it new? Of course it's new. I got it at the mall. Where'd you get yours? Uh, I don't remember. Looks like it came from a thrift store. <laughs> you know, Danielle, you really should get some cooler-looking clothes. Like this skirt. 
I got it yesterday at the mall. That's a cool skirt, Kristen. I know. <laughs> uh, would you like to buy something? Some of the kids are trying to earn money for a new video game. Do you have any mineral water? I don't do tap. Well, no, but it is cold. I don't think so. I'll just get some at Lacey's house. Come on, Lacey. You know, it's too bad. Danielle's nice, but her wardrobe's embarrassing. Yeah, that girl has a serious bad clothing day every day. <sighs> Can't believe she'd wear that. There, it's all finished. Don't worry about those girls, Danielle. My clothes aren't that bad, are they, Kira? They said it looked like my outfit came from a thrift store. Uh, what? That's a real nice thing to say. Yeah. Who do they think they are anyway? You guys look upset. Is something wrong? You wouldn't believe what some girl said to Danielle today, Colby. What did she say? It's not that big a deal, Colby. They just said my clothes looked old. That's all. I do not understand. Many times, older possessions actually increase in value over time. Not clothes, Colby. To those girls, the only good clothes are new clothes. Well, it's not like I don't like new clothes. It's just that my family's having a really hard time. I can't ask my parents for new stuff when they can't afford them. Well, don't you grow out of stuff? I do. Well, yeah, but I get really nice hand-me-downs from my cousin. Though it would be nice to have something new once in a while. I thought you had a job, Danielle. I mean, you're always babysitting and stuff. Can't you use the money you earn for new clothes? Yeah. yeah. Not really. I use the money I earn for food and rent and stuff like that. My mom and my sister help out, too. It's kind of a family thing for us right now. Uh, Danielle, let's go over here for a minute. We need to talk about this. Uh, it seems to me that... I guess food and rent are more important than new clothes. Yeah, I didn't realize Danielle's family was having such a hard time right now. Me neither. But I have an idea. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think That's I know what exactly thinking. what I was thinking. Okay. Let's call my mom. Yeah. Colby's phone. Oh, perfect. Oh. Okay. Hi, Mom. Yeah, we're not going to get the video game anymore. Okay, we're going to help Danielle. Can you get her a gift certificate down at the mall? Oh, thanks, Mom. You're the best. It worked, right? It worked. Yes. 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 You know, Danielle, it really doesn't matter what you look like because God looks on the heart. And you know, I have a song about that. It doesn't matter what you look like Cause all that matters is what's inside It doesn't matter what shape you're in You can be extra wide or just a bit too thin Your parts are metallic gray. Right, Colby? The outside is what others see. But that doesn't mean a thing to me. Cause the Lord sees past the outside parts. As he looks straight into your heart. And if I look through his Thank you. 
God cares more about what's inside my heart, Colby. But I do get tired of secondhand clothes. And it hurts when the kids make fun of me. It hurts a lot. That wasn't very nice at all. Do you suppose they might be jealous of you, Danielle? Of me? Why would anybody be jealous of me? Well, Danielle, those girls may have really nice things, but nobody likes them. And everybody likes you. Yeah, because you're a good person, and they have no clue about that. That is a very good point, Danielle. Say, that reminds me of a story in the Bible about clothes. Remember the story of Joseph? Oh, yeah. Joseph's father gave him a brand new coat. A coat of many colors. It was beautiful, and it made his brothers really jealous. Didn't their jealousy cause them to do something really lousy to Joseph? Didn't they... What was it? Didn't they throw him in a furnace? No, no, no. That was Shadrach, Meshach, uh. and Abednego. They threw Joseph in a pit and left him there to die. Uh, that's jealous, all right. So, what did they do with his coat? Well... The brothers took his coat home and showed it to their father. They told their father that Joseph had been killed by a wild animal. Wow. Almost makes Lacey and Kristen look not so bad. <laughs> yeah. Then what happened to Joseph, Colby? Well, let's see. Joseph was rescued and sold as a slave to the palace of the Pharaoh. And while he was there, the Lord gave him the gift to interpret dreams. One morning, Pharaoh summoned Joseph to his throne room. I'm not quite sure where to begin. Tell me about your mother. My mother? It's not my mother, it's the dream. Ah, yes, the dream, the dream. Well, I don't think I'll ever be able to get any sleep. Tried everything. Warm milk, tea with honey, even late night chariot races on cable. Ah, chariot races. Nothing works. Yeah, I have some tea. Now, sire, tell me about your dream. Well, it's ridiculous, actually. See, I'm standing by the river, and then seven fat cows come out, and so they start grazing. And then, seven skinny cows come out, and they eat the fat cows. Hmm. It gets worse. I have the same dream, only with stalks of grain. <sighs> Nobody knows what it means. Your Highness, I believe the Lord has given me the interpretation of your dream. Tell me. Tell me, Joseph, tell me. Your Highness, sit down. Sit down. Relax. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, there shall be seven years of plenty. Then, following the seven years of plenty, there shall be seven years of famine. Seven years of famine? You mean no harvest? Is that really what my dream means? Yes, Your Highness. I believe the Lord is trying to prepare you. Now, in the seven years of plenty, you should store up some grain so that when the seven years of famine come, you will have enough grain to get through it. Wow. Double wow. Of course I'll do it, but I need someone to oversee all of this. Yes, you should get someone very wise, very smart. Yes, Joseph, you're the one. You shall oversee this. <laughs> your Highness, Your Highness, please. I think you are, you are mistaken. <laughs> no. Go for it, Joseph. No, maybe I can get some sleep around here. Oh, I must have to prepare. Of course. So it was their jealousy that God used to get Joseph to Egypt. Yeah, so that he could be there to interpret Pharaoh's dream. And they'd store up enough grain. So that Joseph's family and all of Israel wouldn't be wiped out by famine. Exactly. I guess God has a lot bigger plan than we do. Yeah, yeah like you said, Colby, God knows what's really important. And new clothes really aren't that important. Besides, I don't like to ask for stuff all the time. I know it hurts my mom when she can't afford to get it for me.
when the people make fun of my clothes. It's not like I really need anything new, but I wish they wouldn't be so mean. Help me to do the best I can with what you've given me. And help me to forgive Lacey and Kristen, just like Joseph forgave his brothers. In Jesus' name, amen. Mel! Hey, Danielle, it's for you. Look, look. Open it, open it, please. It's from the mall. Why would I get anything from the mall? Yeah, but... mm. It's a gift certificate. It's enough to buy something new. Oh, wait a minute. Who would do this? Well, whoever it was probably really cares a lot about you, Danielle. Oh, oh this is great. Now when you kids go to the mall to pick out your video game, Colby, you'll be able to help uh, Danielle yeah. buy it. Colby, a... uh... We kind of lost interest in that yeah. new video game. Long we time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Completely gone. Yeah. yeah, we did. We heard it wasn't that great anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you see, kids, clothing, games, and toys are temporary possessions. But God's love toward us is forever, and no one can ever take that away. You know, boys and girls, having kindness in your heart is much more valuable than all of the clothes and video games and toys you could ever want to have. So remember, treat others the way you want to be treated. And have a great day, and we'll see you all next time at Colby's, Colby's 